Hello. Good day, physicians. Welcome to our next session on 21st century literature. Today, we will I'll be discussing canonical authors and their works of Philippine national artists and literature, and how these authors contribute to the development of our national literature. For our session learning targets, at the end of this session, you are expected to recognize the various canonical authors and then appreciate the contribution of these writers to the development of national literature. Now, these are the following canonical authors that we are going to get to know in this session. Let's start with Edith L. Tiempo, National Artist for Literature. She was born on April 22, 1990 in Nueva Vizcaya. She was a poet, fictionist, teacher, and literary critic. Her poetry involved intricate verbal transfigurations of significant experiences, and it was also characterized by a remarkable fusion of style and substance of craftsmanship, craft, craftsmanship and insight. Now, her style of language is usually descriptive but unburdened by scrupulous detailing. She also founded and directed the Siliman National Writers' Workshop in Dumaguete City. Now, two of her much anthologized pieces were The Little Marmoset and Bonsai. Her works The Black Monkey and also Bonsai. It was an anthology. Bienvenido Lumbera is also a national artist for literature. He is a poet, libertist, and scholar. He was the one who introduced Tagalog literature to what is now known as Bagay poetry, a landmark aesthetic tendency that has helped to change the vernacular poetic tradition. Now, as a libertist, he, he wrote the tales of the Manubu and Ramahari, he also pioneered the creative vision of fine arts and popular imagination. His major works include the following, Likhang Tila, Likhang Diwa, Poems in Filipino and English in 1993. He also published Balaybay, Mga Tulang Lunot at Manibalang in 2002. She also, he also wrote Sa Sariling Bayan, Apat na Dulang May Musika in 2004, and Agun Nya Sa Hacienda Luisita, and Pakikiramay in 2004. NVM Gonzalez is also a national artist for literature. Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez is a fictionist, essayist, poet, and a teacher who articulated the Filipino spirit in rural and urban landscapes. He also won the first Commonwealth Literary Contest in 1940, wherein he received the Republic Cultural Heritage Award in 1960 and the Gawad CCP Para Sasini in 1990. He has also become UP's International Writer in Residence and a member of the Board of Advisors of the University of the Philippines, and it was conferred to him the Doctor of Human Letters, Honoris Causa, its highest academic recognition. His major works include the following, The Winds of April, Seven Hills Away, Children of the Ash-Covered Loam and Other Stories, The Bamboo Dancers, Look Stranger, On This Island Now, Mindoro and Beyond, 21 Stories, The Bread of Salt and Other Stories, Work on the Mountain, The Novel of Justice, Selected Essays, from 1968 to 1994, and a grammar of dreams and other stories. Virgilio, Virgilio S. Almario is also a national artist for literature. He was also known as Rio Alma, who is a poet, a literary historian, and critic who has revived and reinvented the traditional Filipino poetic forms, even as he championed modernist poetics. He founded the Galian sa Arte at Tula and the Linangan sa Imahen, Retorica at Agno. 
He has been a constant presence as well in national writing workshops and galvanizes member writers as chairman emeritus of the Union ng Mga Manunulat sa Pilipinas. He also spearheaded the National Commission for Culture and the Arts as executive director. Cirilo Bautista, who is also a national artist for literature, he is a poet, fictionist, and essayist with various exceptional achievements and significant contributions to the development of the country's literary arts. He is the foremost writer of his generation. In De La Salle University, he was instrumental in the formation of the Bienvenido Santos Creative Writing Center. He was also the moving spirit behind the founding of the Philippine Literary Arts Council in 1981, the Iligan National Writers' Workshop in 1993, and the Baguio Writers Group. He continues to contribute to the development of Philippine literature as a writer, writer through his significant body of works, as a teacher through his discovery and encouragement of young writers in various workshops and lectures he facili facilitated, and as a critic through his essays that provide insights into the craft of writing and correctives to misconceptions about art. His major works include The Summer Suns in 1963, Words and Battlefields in 1998, The Trilogy of Saint Lazarus in 2001, and Galaw ng Asoge in 2003. Nick Joaquin is also a national artist for literature. He is the most distinguished Filipino writer who uses English as his language in his literary works. He has also enriched the link English language with critics coining Joaquinisque to describe his Baroque Spanish flavored English or his reinventions of English based on Philippinisms. His major works include The Woman Who Had Two Navels, a portrait of the artist as Filipino, Manila, My Manila, a history for the young, The Ballad of the Five battles, result in Saga, Almanac for Manilenos, and Cave and Shadows. F. Chanil Jose is also a national artist for literature. He is a publisher, a lecturer on cultural issues, and the founder of the Philippine chapter of the international organization PEN. He was bestowed the CCP Centennial Honors for the Arts in 1999, the Outstanding Fulbrighters Award for Literature in 1988 and the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Journalism, Literature, and Creative Communication Arts in 1980. The, the following are his major works. Amado V. Hernandez, another national artist for literature. He is a poet, playwright, and a novelist who is among the Filipino writers who practice committed art. Because in his view, the function of the writer is to act as the conscience of society and to affirm the greatness of the human spirit in the face of inequity and oppression. So he was really serious about his writings, his literary works. It's not just about expressing ideas and thoughts. It's also about fighting for what is not equal fighting for all those that are oppressed with injustice. So his works is really about uh, making the society um, conscientious of what it's doing. Some of his major works include Mga Ibong Mandaragit, the first Filipino sociopolitical novel in the agrarian problems of the 1950s. Batang Bayang Malaya, Isang Dipanglangit and Luwa ng Buwaya. Lazaro Francisco is also a national artist for literature. He is a prize-winning writer. He developed the social realist tradition in Philippine fiction and he ranked among the finest novelists since the beginning of the 20th century. 
He put up an arm to his advocacy of Tagalog as a national language by establishing the kapatiran ng mga alagad ng wikang Pilipino in 1958. He is also the master of the Tagalog novel. In 1997, he was honored by the University of the Philippines with a special convocation where he was cited as the foremost Filipino novelist of his generation and the champion of the Filipino writer's struggle for national identity. Some of his major works include Ama, Bayang Nagpatiwakal, Maganda Pa Ang Daigdig, at Daluyong. Alejandro Roses is also a national artist for literature. He is a short story writer and essayist, and he was considered as the country's best writer of comic short stories. He has always focused on the neglected aspects of the Filipino cultural heritage. He also brought to public attention the aesthetics of the country's fiestas. He personally led the campaign to change the country's independence from July 4 to June 12. He also caused the change of language from English to Filipino in the country's stamps, currency, and passports. He also recovered Jose Rizal's manuscripts when they were stolen from the National Archives. Lastly, his unflicting and flinching love of country led him to become a guerrilla during the Second World War to defy martial law and to found the major opposition party under the dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos. Some of his major works include My Brother's Peculiar Chicken of Cox and Kite, Something to Pro About, and Fiesta. Carlos P. Romulo is also a national artist for literature whose career spanned 50 years of public service as educator, soldier, university president, journalist, and diplomat. He was a reporter at 16, a newspaper editor by the age of 20, and a publisher at 32. The only, he is the only Asian to win America's coveted Pulitzer Prize in journalism for a series of articles predicting the outbreak of World War II. The first Asian president of the United Nations General Assembly, then Philippine ambassador to Washington, D.C., and later Minister of Foreign Affairs. Some of his major works include The United, I Walked with Heroes, an autobiography, I Saw the Fall of the Philippines, Mother America, I See the Philippines Rise, which is a wartime memoir. Jose Garcia Villa is also a national artist for literature who lived in Singalong, Manila, who introduced the reverse consonant rhyme scheme, including the comma poems that made full use of the punctuation mark in an innovative poetic way. It, he was also considered as one of the finest contemporary poets regardless of race or language, and he used Dove, the Velion, Dove Eagle Lion, as pen name. Some of his major works include Footnote to Youth, Many Voices, Poems by the Velion, Poems 55, have come and here. Rolando Estino is also a national artist for theater and literature. He is a playwright, a thespian, poet, teacher, critic, and translator who marked his career with prolific artistic productions and he is often described as a religious, well-behaved, and gifted person. Some of his major works include Sit Sit Sa Kuligli, Dunung Dunungan, Crystal Na Universo, A Trick of Mirrors. Francisco Arcelliano is also a national artist for literature. He is a writer, poet, essayist, critic, journalist, and teacher who is one of the most important progenitors of the modern Filipino short story in English. He also pioneered the development of the short story as a lyrical prose poetic form. He also kept alive the experimental tradition in fiction and had been most daring in exploring new literary forms to express the sensibility of the Filipino people.
Some of his major works include The Selected Stories, Poetry and Politics, The State of Original Writing in English in the Philippines Today, The Man Who Would Be Poe, and Death in a Factory. Levi Celerio is also a national artist for literature as well as in music. He is a prolific lyricist and composer for decades. He made it to the Guinness Book of World Records as the only person who is able to make music using just a leaf. He has enriched the Philippine music for no less than two generations with a treasury of more than 4,000 songs in an idiom that has proven to appeal to all social classes. Some of his major works include the following. Carlos Quirino is also a national artist for historical literature. He is a biographer and has, a dis and has the distinction of having written one of the earliest biographies of his very cell titled The Great Malayan. He became the very first Filipino correspondent for the United Press Institute. His books and articles span the whole gamut of Philippine history and culture, from Bonifacio's trial to Aguinaldo's biography, from Philippine cartography to culinary arts, from cash crops to tycoons and presidents' lives. Some of his major works include Maps and Views of Old Manila, Man of Destiny, Magsaysay of the Philippines, Lives of the Philippine Presidents, Philippine Cartography, The History of Philippine Sugar Industry, Filipino Heritage, The Making of a Nation, and Filipinos at War, The Fight for Freedom from Mactan to Edsa. Now, for the questions, among the canonical authors that I have discussed, who do you think will highly help you improve your skills in writing literature and why? Uh, who among the writers resonate with your own writing style, with your own personality, and um, with your degree of familiarity to these authors. And how do these authors and their works impact you in your preferred career, especially if you're APM and you're in your arts and design? They think um, your writing style um, having um, adapting it from these authors, do you think it will also help you in your future career? So if that's the case, construct three to five sentences regarding these questions. Now to sum it up, the order of national artists is the highest national recognition given to Filipino individuals who have made significant contributions to the, to the development of the Philippine arts, such as music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, broadcast arts, and architecture and allied arts. The order is jointly administered by the NCCE, or the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, and CCP, which is the Cultural Center of the Philippines, and conferred by the President of the Philippines upon recommendation by both institutions. So, why do we have to know, why do we have to get to know these canonical authors? Remember that these canonical authors and their achievements are measured in terms of their vision, meaning the way they consider their history as a contribution to the future, their initial insight, their creativity and imagination, even their technical proficiency to the highest order in expressing Filipino culture and traditions, history, way of life, and aspirations. Because in one way or another, if you're going to write, you have to consider where did you come from, how did, and how, and who you were. Yes, who you were in the past, who are your ancestors, who who contributed to what we are experiencing right now. So we have to consider those um, things when we express ourselves through literature. So it is really important to recognize those authors who have made it in the past, who have contributed so much to our literary works that we are discussing today.